Well, let's take this outside, see how it does in the wilderness. Hello, everyone. This is Charles Bridge Tech with another flashlight review, this time from Phoenix. Now, this here is their LD42. Comes in this box. Now, Phoenix store sent this to me. They wanted me to test and review this light. So now let's go ahead and take a look here at the specs. Try to get it best close up I can here. And you've got a thousand lumens on turbo. Now that's a lot of light for a flashlight. It's not a huge amount, but it's a lot, especially when this is only running four double A's. So that in itself makes this light a lot more impressive. Now if you need more time to read those specs, go ahead and pause the screen. Otherwise we're going to open this up and see what's in. And we've got one user manual. Now this is a multi-language user manual and it is pretty small in the writing so you may want to use a magnifying glass if you have to but in any case that's what it looks like on the other side really nice detailed manuals on all the Phoenix I've ever tested you got a brochure here for more of their wonderful products uh, and now this is the warranty card here Chinese and English and then we've got one o-ring in here and a lanyard we've got a holster go over a little bit of that now now Phoenix holsters are good basic holsters they are on the thin side as far as protecting your light now this here is a little bit better strap it's a little bit thicker than some recent ones I've seen so the material again is pretty thin on that but this might do a little bit better than a real thin one I've seen on some of their holsters and uh, kinda questionable for long-term use especially holding a you know a sixty seventy dollar flashlight you don't want to drop that especially the holster and everything you might not hear it hit the ground so this one here looks a little bit better thicker material there. So now let's take a look at the batteries here. The batteries are alkaline. They do come with this light so it's a complete kit. They recommend that you can use nickel metal hydride. Those are rechargeable. One-time use alkaline cells. You can also use one-time use lithium cells which is what I'm going to use in my test to get the best performance from this light. So now let's go ahead and get the light out. There it is. Right offhand I like the copper color bezel on there. Now as you can see here to turn up the brightness levels you have the dial and you can do this all with one hand as well so you can one hand it raising up those so it's really easy and it's precise Now I don't know if you can see it here on camera, but this barrel here that holds the batteries is actually plastic. 
and I've done some flashlight reviews with the same type of um, construction and it's actually quite durable. clip on here is pretty heavy duty now the style and design on this is very nice now it's nice here this feels like it's gonna be really feel good in the hand got a really good grip on that because of the way the barrel is there you really lock onto that Hold it for everyday carry. You can even hold it tactical if you want. Might even be able to run the dial here with your fingertips, pinky or your other finger there. It might be able to work out. Now the machining and finish on the head is excellent. Not seeing any issues here. Even on the dial, feels really good. Alright, so now let's go ahead and take a look here at the Deep Smooth Reflector. This is running the Cree XP-L LED. Get a better picture of it there. There we go. Not a speck of dust on there. Really good quality control with Phoenix. Alright, so now let's go ahead and open this up and I'll show you the head of the light. Now it does have grease here on the threads, so that's good. Springs down inside there, try to get an angle there. See them, those are pretty heavy duty down in there. Straight contact points on the head. Alright, so now let's go ahead and bring out the batteries that I'm going to be using in this test here. Now as you can see on the barrel, hopefully I can get this on camera, you can see the positive and negative. So I'm going to make sure those button tops are facing up here and that bottom end is facing up there. But the batteries I'm going to be using here are the Energizer Ultimate Lithium Cells. A lot of power behind these and the nice thing about that, might as well bring it up now while I've got you here. If I measure the weight on these compared to an alkaline cell, uh, it actually makes the difference on how much this flashlight weighs. So if you're looking to really keep it lightweight, especially if you have eight of these batteries, it can get pretty heavy. So we'll go ahead and turn this on here. Two of these batteries here, as you can see there, weighs 29 point nine three grams that's two of those and then you've got two of these here that came with the light 46 almost 47 grams so you know they're quite a bit more weight if you're using four alkaline versus four of these energizers so that's another benefit plus you get better run times and a little bit more power which is always a big plus we're going to go ahead and put these in the light and we'll put it together so you just want to backtrack on that and make sure that you don't want to strip that plastic and um, just make sure you back and you'll feel it go into groove that's when you know you can go ahead and tighten it so I just thought I'd show you the difference in the light and how much it weighs using lithium cells is, is pretty interesting and it's also a benefit especially if you're looking for the least amount of weight on say like adding to your backpack what you carry on you definitely nice to know that you have an option with these cells so now let's go ahead and go over the UI. The UI is straightforward on this of course it's all dial in so we're going to go ahead and do that now. Let's go over the UI. 
So the UI just turn that dial one time, brings you on the lowest light output, and she's got a nice tight hot spot on there. So we're going to go ahead and turn it again, and we're going to keep turning this dial as you can see, and that's the highest output there, thousand lumens. Go ahead and show you the beam here. See how tight that hot spot is there. Quite a bit of bleeding here. So in the distance, it might become more of a combination beam. But just right offhand, this definitely looks more like a thrower. Look at that sharp cutoff spill area there on my hand. Just a really nice sharp beam on that. And then, of course, you can turn that back down. Let me show you here how it's done. It's got a little dial and the indicator there. I just turn that off, turns it on, turn it off all the way. And that's what that looks like. And that's all there is to this light. I mean, literally just dialing in the light output that you want and turning it off. No special modes on this, not needed. I hardly ever use them personally myself really appears to be a nice beam on this and hopefully I can show that to you tonight out in the night shots so let's wait no further let's take this outside see how it does in the wilderness we are out here in the darkness with the Phoenix LD42. That's been storming pretty bad here the last couple of days. So let's go ahead and get started. Turn it here. That there water spout is 35 feet from where I'm standing all the way over here, literally to my feet, all the way over there. Now I've gotten a lot of questions about distances in my videos, if you'd like to see them. I have screenshots from Google Sky View uh, with the markers showing the proof of distances. This here is 65 feet from where I'm standing and it is making that there on the tree. See it a little bit more on the leaves are starting to come in on the trees there it is on the fence all right we're going to go to the next level here see how it does spill has come alive now this light here for it being four double a's has some pretty impressive pro and you'll see what i mean now at this light level, it's making 138 feet <laughs> from where I'm standing. Pretty incredible. And faintly making the school there at this light output. Leaves are starting to come back in on the Tree of Life, so that looks nice. All right, we're going to go to the next level here, see how it does. Fence line, tree line. Making that park there, playground, and that playground clear across the park as well. Trees are quite a ways away. And we've got tennis courts over here as well. And it is faintly making those trees out in the distance. Now it is making 238 feet to that tree there. 138 feet to this tree from where I'm standing. And then pan 
pan around over here. As you see now, it's making a school, even though the lights are on. Impressive light output for this being only four AA cells. I forget that this is running that. Pretty impressive. All right, let's go to the next level, see how it does. Wow. Do a beam profile here, look at that. <laughs> Pretty nice even jump in the light output. Easily making it across the park there, as you can see. Playgrounds. I see there now it's making those trees even better. Can't wait till the thousand lumens. Again, there's a tree behind this tree here. It's got some good throwing range on this. Making the school even better now, as you can see. And it's almost making the palm tree, the first one, very faint in my eyesight here. Recommend using lithium cells if you want the lightest weight of the light as well as run times. All right, let's go to the highest level now. Wow, <laughs> there's the beam all the way out. Hot spot there. Look at that. Fence line, tree line. Easily making it across the park. Look at that. Hold it up a little higher. That park and that park, quite a ways away. Tennis courts. Making those trees there. Those are quite a ways past the baseball field. Tree of life. Nice hot spot on here. Kind of leans more towards the combination side and thrower. And there it is. Look at that. That's the first palm tree. And not quite enough. Well, it is there faint on that further one out. But that one is doing. Impressive beam performance on this. We'll do a before and after here. Incredible. Got some really nice range for this light. Making those trees over there as well. Nice range. All right. Hope you enjoyed those night shots. Okay, welcome back. Performance on this, I forgot I was using a 4 AA battery light. This thing really does an incredible job, especially running off of four just regular AA's that you can get anywhere, including these lithium cells. You can buy them at the stores. Um, I purchased them on Amazon. They always have some of the best pricing on them. And uh, there's other lithium cells out there that you can get one-time use. They're not rechargeable, but they are incredible run times on this light. Um, I used a P3 
pair of alkaline here just turned it on sat it upright and just let the light work its way down and uh, about two hours later that was on high this had stepped down it was still going and so I measured the cells the cells still had a little over 1.1 volts on them so that itself just on alkaline these lithium cells I don't really like to use them for testing for long durations because they are a little more pricier but they have performed very nicely in some of the tests that I've done in the past so I know these will outperform alkaline three to three to four times longer you know you're gonna pay a lot more but you're gonna get a lot more hours of runtime with these cells very nice look on this light well built construction feels rugged even though it is plastic that helps with weight on the flashlight too so that's another reason why they go with the plastic bodies and I really like the dial in feature on that really easy to use so I see no issues especially for this being an everyday carry you can put it in your pocket it is a little thick here you know but you know it can use it for everyday carry I don't see any issues with that especially with the holster which now I'm gonna go ahead and show you how it fits in there holster is a little wider on the body so you can easily put that in there slide it down in and you've got it um, it's gonna provide basic protection there as you can see it doesn't stick out very far past the head of the light but it does a little bit there no elastic so this is pre-fit for it so yeah, that feels really good actually so it's going to hold this light good uh, again this is going to be a light duty holster you definitely don't want to uh, depend on this holster for long periods of time even though this is now the belt area here where it goes on to the belt is thicker that's really nice that's a big plus in my opinion some of the ones I've seen they're just real thin and I don't think they're going to do well over time this one here is going to do a little bit better provide a good basic protection of this light so I want to thank Phoenix store for sending me this to review now if this is something you're interested in getting remember this complete kit I'll leave a link down in the description area including a discount code we can save some money on this kit just in case you're interested in getting it well that's it for me I hope you enjoyed this LD42 if you did please share like and subscribe that way I can bring more of these Phoenix lights to you in the future thanks for watching Take care.